Hi everyone, <laughs> hope you're enjoying your lunch. Uh, thank you to Trevor and to Wendy for the kind welcome here today. I will start by saying uh, my time at Glamour has been relatively brief in the big history of the museum. Uh, and I see that our curator emeritus, Rona, is here today as well. Uh, but I am so excited to be here to talk about this past year. It's been a great year. Uh, and we've been celebrating uh, some pretty major milestones at Glamour. And I've spent the last two and a half years becoming acquainted with the very special stories associated with Glamour and its amazing collections. And hope to share a bit of that with you today as well. Okay, so in 2023, we are celebrating not one, but two major anniversaries. So 140 years since Glenmore was first constructed. Uh, John and Harriet Phillips uh, began construction on the house in 1882, and finished up the following year. And then the photo to <laughs> the side of the archival photo uh, represents the grand opening of Glamour as uh, the Hastings County Museum in July of 1973. So making it our 50th anniversary operating as a museum, a community museum for the city of Belleville. I understand it's also the 50th for the Parrot. So it was a very busy year, 1973. So the story of Glamour, in part, is the story of the multi-generational family who resided here. It was home to four generations of the Phillips, Burroughs, and Faulkner family. Uh, Harriet and John, the two smaller photos to my immediate left, uh, were a middle-aged couple when they built Glamour. Uh, they had inherited the land from Harriet's family. And it was quite a grand home uh, when, it was, when it was first built. Uh, local newspapers were commenting on some of the decor and design decisions being made uh, for this grand home that was being built at the corner of Bridge and Dufferin. Uh, beside those photos, we have um, uh, the last generation who, who was there, uh, the last two generations, uh, Philippa Faulkner, I see her painting is right beside me here in the meeting room today. Uh, she was a very uh, high, highly esteemed artist uh, who operated a gallery here in Belleville, traveled the world, and her husband, uh, Dr. George Faulkner, and their children, Anne and Sandy. And the link between these two um, parts of the family, uh, the lovely painted photograph here of uh, Jesse. Uh, Jessie was, became the adopted daughter of Harriet and John and was the mother to, to Philippa and her husband in the lovely bowler cap, uh, Sanford Burroughs. So we uh, pay tribute to this multi-generational family and the story of Glamour is also about the architecture of the site. So it was designated a National Historic Site of Canada in 1969, and that's when it was still a private home. Uh, Philippa was living uh, in the home at that time. And the designation very much focuses on how Glamour appears from the outside. It's thought to be one of the fine, finer examples of Second Empire architecture uh, in Canada. And this little, uh, infographic is something that we pull out when we try to explain to people what Second Empire architecture is all about. That mansard roof line is such a defining feature. And when we have younger visitors to the museum, we say, if you've ever watched Scooby-Doo, <laughs> a lot of the houses featured in that cartoon have that Second Empire style of architecture. So when Glamour first opened in 1973, it operated as a community museum, but a little bit differently than we operate today. It uh, was known as the Hastings County Museum. And essentially, the, the house presented very much like a county history museum. Uh, we had different rooms, different galleries in the, in the house, uh, in the basement level. Up until this past year, we had one remaining uh, 
uh, exhibit from that era of a settler's cabin in the, in the basement of Glamour. Uh, we had a general store uh, display. Uh, there was the Manly MacDonald Gallery and the Historical Society also kept a library in the space as well. Uh, and as time progressed, things changed with how we interpret the history of Glamour and uh, the stories associated with it. So I'm glad Rona's here today because I'd like to credit her. Uh, her career at Glamour spanned 30 years, 30 years. Uh, and it's been, it was really a marker of 30 years of intense restoration <laughs> efforts at the museum. Uh, and you can see in the bottom corner photo, sort of the after, the after photo. Um, but these sorts of projects really spanned uh, from, you know, repairing the slate roof to its authentic uh, original appearance. And I believe that involved working with um, quarries in three vastly different communities in Vermont and Quebec uh, and here in Ontario as well to be able to replicate that polychrome slate appearance on the roof. Uh, there, were, there were quite a few efforts to um, repair plaster work in the home and consolidate it, strengthen it, uh, and enhance the paint colors found through scientific study through the Canadian Conservation Institute of what original paint colors would have been in place at Glamour. Uh, if anybody has any questions we, we, you know, about the site, about our collections, about our programs, please reach out. Um, we're always happy to chat with folks. And uh, our information is on here, glamour.ca. Thank you. <laughs>